So hey, it's that magical time of the month again. How many of you are watching and not subscribed? Why? Just why? You know, I, I keep freaking telling you to do it. I'm done, you know. I, I keep saying I'm done, but for, for real, I'm done. But really though, you know, guys, thank you so much for the support that you've given me on the previous stuff, you know, that's been going on. It's been insane. I, I only dreamed, you know, of these type of support. So really, thank you so much. All right, so we are back. The next few hours will be crazy because we got two good news. First one is the Ryzen 33100 and 3300X will be in stock. And I guess it will go out of stock pretty fast. But really though, they provide actually really good performance in game. Second thing is actually very, very good news because the B450 and X470 chipset motherboards will be compatible with the Ryzen 4000 series. Which brings out like a really important question. AMD, what was all that about? You're getting all the beautiful stuff like a good SSD with a good amount of storage and 16 gigs of RAM and a beefy GPU and a CPU that doesn't bottleneck it, you know, when you want to get high frame rates out of the game. As you can see right now, this is the Ryzen 3 3300X. Play Fortnite at 1080p, a competitive settings, I believe, or maybe low. And as you can see, you're getting over 240 frames per second. Now, if you're like playing a pro Fortnite and stacked end zones and all these type of crazy stuff, I recommend you like lower the res to 900p. Performance has been hit so hard when compared to chapter one. So expect yourself getting really good performance when it comes to getting high frame rates out of the PC. So if you're looking at the Ryzen 3 3300X, now this is the, like the bigger and better CPU when you compare it to the Ryzen 3 3100 because it's got higher clocks and a better architecture in a way, a very complicated way, but you know it's got four cores you know in one die, while the Ryzen 3 3100 has two dies and every die has two cores. It's something like related to how AMD makes their own processors. But regardless, the Ryzen 3 3300X for 120 bucks gives you really uh, like awesome performance when you compare it to Ryzen 5 3600, which is like $50 more expensive. Really, it's a really good CPU. It's not overhyped. It's actually like really good. Now for the board, we're looking at the Gigabyte B450 MD at 3 And as I said, you know, this will be Ryzen 4000 series compatible. It's compatible with the Ryzen 3 3300X out of the box. So you'll not have to do any type of OS updates or anything thing you know weird you just you know hook up the cpu to the board and you're good to go but because these boards that are coming from amazon come you know with the bias updated so there's no problem here and they got four dim slots and you can overclock the cpu if you want to but hey for 75 bucks it's awesome in my opinion did i mention i have a really bad haircut so sorry now for the ram we're looking at 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram i believe it's called team group or something like that but it's for 65 bucks and it's ddr4 3000 megahertz you know and you still have two extra dim slots for the future you if you want to upgrade to like 32 gigs but yeah this is a really like future proof pc but 16 gigs right now is all what you'd ever need for gaming it could last you to the next like three years so it's awesome in my opinion to have 16 gigs for that price 65 bucks you know. as for the storage we're looking at 512 gigabyte ssd and also this is a good deal that you don't find that often you know for 55 bucks you get a 512 gig ssd is awesome you get that fast boot up times and loading speeds and there are some talks that the future games will be like utilized more out of the ssd having an ssd with this type of space is actually awesome and if you run out of space you can like add an extra one terabyte hard drive for 30 bucks in the future but again an ssd with that space for that price you know with the performance that you will get it's awesome now for the case there are not a lot of options right now everything is out of stock pretty much but i would recommend you to go with the q300l if you found it in stock if you didn't you have two options that i find right now in stock which one of them is the rosewell fbmx1 which is a really cheap case you know it's for 35 bucks it doesn't have that good you know cooling solutions but hey it gets the job done and there's also the aero cool cyclone mini which is for around 45 bucks. and it's okay it's comparable to the q300l it's got that really again i like so much the q300l and you could tell because every single gaming pc build guy they make i recommend this case but next up for the power supply there's the thermal take tr2 500 watt i believe 80 plus certified power supply for around 50 bucks it's actually still awesome for the price and 500 watts and it's 80 plus it's actually really awesome and it gives you like a headroom to upgrade in the future now for the real beef the gpu we're looking at the gdx 1660 super for a really competitive price which is 230 bucks for the single fan models and 240 for the zotec models and 
than some other models. But hey, every single model will give you that really great gaming performance. As I said, like I usually recommend this GPU in every single gaming PC build guide that's you know budget oriented because it's a really good GPU for the price. 230 to 240 bucks is a really good price in my opinion. Great 1080p performance, Warzone, you know, and 1440p performance if you want to tackle that. I give it a lot of credit because it deserves it. So uh, yeah, it's not just any like type of cheesy marketing, you know. So hey, that's been it guys. Again, if you like that video, press on that like button. If you want to see more videos of that kind, subscribe 100%. And let me know what do you think about this kind of new setup. Hopefully I'm not over brightened. Um, I hate it. But hey, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe my dudes and peace.